हेलो एवरी वन मे नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डेमोग्राफिक फीचर्स ऑफ इंडियन पॉपुलेशन वट डू यू मीन बाई डेमोग्राफिक्स डेमोग्राफिक्स आर स्टेटिक्स दैट डिस्क्राइब पॉपुलेशन एंड देयर करेक्टरिस्टिक डेमोग्राफिक्स आर स्टेटिक्स दैट डिस्क्राइब पॉपुलेशन एंड देयर करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इंडिया इज मोस्ट पॉपुलेटेड कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड एंड चाइना इज सेकेंड India became world most populated country in 2023 as per January 2024 India's population was 1.44 billion which is 0.9% increase from previous year India occupies about 2.4% of total land area of the world but India consists around 17% of total population of the world first feature is density of population density of population means average number of people living per square kilometer and we can calculate density of population when we divide total population with the total area population density of india in 2024 was 488 people per square kilometer and population density of india has increased over a year for example in 2011 population density was 382 people per square kilometer in india population density vary across the state for example west bengal have higher density of population as compared to madhya pradesh and tamil nadu next feature is sex ratio of indian population sex ratio means number of females per 1000 males in given population as of 2024 india population is about 1.44 billion in which 743.39 million are males and 698.29 million are females that means 106.5 males for every 100 female or we can say that 51.56 percentage of population was male and 48.44 percentage was female next feature is birth rate and death rate birth rate is number of live birth per 1000 people in year death rate means number of death per 1000 person in year birth rate of india in 2024 was 16.75 birth per 1000 people and death rate in india in 2024 was 9.1 that's per 1000 people here you can see in 2024 number of birth is higher than number of death it will be called positive natural change next feature is age structure that means distribution of population by different age group such as children working age adult and elderly people as of 2024 24% is of india population was between 0 to 14 years of age and 68% is of india population was 15 to 64 years of age and 7% of india population was 65 years and older people age so here you can see 0 to 14 and 65 years and older are dependent population but 15 to 64 years will be called working age group obviously working age group is important for our economy growth next feature is a life expectancy life expectancy means number of years a person can expect to live and life expectancy depend on so many factors like genetics lifestyle and socio economic status india's life expectancy has been increasing over a time in 2022 life expectancy of india was 67.74 years it was increased from 2000 during 2000 it was 63.2 years life expectancy in india 2024 is estimated to be 72.2 years life expectancy in india is continuous increasing due to progress in medical advancement better nutrition improve sanitation family planning and life style choices next feature is literacy rate literacy rate means percentage of population who can read and write india literacy rate is continuous improving especially for women 
government also taken so many steps in order to improve literacy rate in India. India literacy rate in 2024 projected to be around 80 percent. This is gradually increased from 2023. During 2023, it was around 77 percentage. India literacy rate vary across the state. In Kerala, it is around 96.2, Mizoram 91.58, Delhi 88.7, Tripura 87.75, Himachal Pradesh 86.6, Assam 85.9 and you can see for other state also. Next is rural urban composition that means division of population between rural and urban areas. In early 2024, 36.6 percentage of India population lived in urban areas. That means the remaining 63.4 percentage of population lived in rural area. Next feature is occupational structure. Occupational structure means the division of jobs between different sectors like primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary sector means agriculture sector. Secondary sector means manufacturing and uh, construction sector. And tertiary sector means services sector. As of 2024, more than 45% of India workforce employed in agriculture sector. 11.4% of India workforce employed in manufacturing sector. 28.9% of India workforce employed in service sector. And 13% of India workforce employed in construction sector. So this is all about demographic feature of India population. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.